Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben and today we're tasting the brand new Glenmorangie Sautern cask finish. There's a new range out. And they all became older. Just this one <laughs> lost its <laughs> age statement. Why? <laughs> uh, I don't know why. I thought they were, they were really cool, like everything moved from just 12 years to 14 years, but no, I think one of them moved to 14 years, one stayed the same, or did he also yeah, move? Probably, and, yeah. Hmm. And the other one lost its, its age statement, so okay. <laughs> so what's good is this one uh, is not chill filtered, 46% uh, and uncolored. Hmm. So huh? this one is real color and shows that this whiskey matured really good. And uh, it's matured first in ex bourbon cast and afterwards in a Sautern wine cask from Bordeaux. Mm. So these are white wine casks, or cask for white wine. And the Sautern uh, grape is spread on floors, like the malting floors, and then they let uh, the water evaporate out of the grapes. Uh, yes, out of the grapes. And uh, with this, the relative sweetness of the grapes increases so that the final wine becomes very, very sweet. And with this high sweetness, they are able to, well, have a high ABV in the wine and still a high res residue of sugars. And if you have cheap Sauterne casks, then the French allow the winters uh, to put in real <laughs> cane sugar. <laughs> uh, heavy loads full. Yeah, but this one, uh, you have to know, uh, Glenmorangie is owned by the famous company Louis Vuitton Moensi, a French company, and they own as well the Jacques Diquem Chateau in mm -hmm. Sauternes, which is in the southern part of Bordeaux, the Bordeaux region. And so the chances that these casks are from Jacques Diquem are very, very high. But they did not want to, to spoil one name with each other. Uh, so the Sauternes people, the Jacques Diquem people, probably mean we or better than scotch and, and the scotch say oh, 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 we, we do not want to sit <laughs> it's just <laughs> chucky it's, yeah. it's not glamorous but <laughs> it still says on the bottle that you have a uh, normal maturation with mm -hmm. bourbon casks and then you have the finish in these sutan casks of the specially made what what is it southern southern bordeaux, bordeaux yeah yeah so the Jack D. Cam, those bottles are expensive. Mm -hmm. really. They start, I think, the Jack D. Cam. I don't think that you're getting two-digit figures. I think three. Oh, okay. So it's quite expensive. This one starts uh, at around <laughs> 60. 50, 60 euros, something 60, like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, yeah, this is this. Then, uh, well, as we said, this is a new one. The old one had 12 years of age. If you're... Uh, looking around, you might be able to find mm -hmm. still the old bottle. Yeah. 46% ABV, I think I said that. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much of the distillery character still comes through. But usually when you have the wood finishes, the, the wood is a bit of a dominant character. So this is the second mm -hmm. sip. I had one before, as you had, <laughs> and this time a lot more of vanilla is present. Yeah. A lot more. Yeah. And behind that there is the citrus notes we had before. And it's always said that the northern highlands, which lie north of a, the geological fault from Inverness to Ben Nevis, and in which Loch Ness is situated, so north of Inverness, uh, all those distilleries up there have a citrus a dominant citrus note in it mm -hmm. and I, f I think this one has it as well yeah it has a bit of a citrus note but what for me is uh critical for the the second tasting is that it's a lot sweeter now that i had yeah. a few sips the sweetness comes much through much more through with mm -hmm. caramel and and that kind of stuff and, and a little vanilla. bit of coconut yeah yeah the, from the f first sip you have a lot of tropical fruit in there there's a bit of pineapple, mm. a lot of coconut, uh, citrus, a uh, citrus note, a bit of mm -hmm. sesty, a bit of juicy, both of that. Yeah. 
Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> so, so this is quite hefty on the tongue. It's mild and and silky. It said officially, no. Mm -hmm. This is intense. This is mm -hmm. there's oakiness in it. Uh, intense oakiness, and the the other uh, extra matured whiskies from Glamorangie, like the Santa and the Portwood finish. They have typically ex or American white oak cask from which the sherry cask and port wine cask were made. They are cheaper than the European oak. But the Jacques de Chem wine yard, I think they still use the uh, French oak, the Limousin oak casks. And oh. those are much more intense than the American white oak they typically use for, for uh, finishing. Mm -hmm. so. And the start is quite quite fruity, quite sweet, quite mild. You do get a little bit of spiciness in your mouth, but once you swallow, you do realize all the, the nice spiciness that comes from different woods. So yeah, I do think there is a bit of European oak in there. That spiciness, that, that nutmeg flavor, a hint of a little bit of chocolate when it comes like to the, the end of the whiskey. Then we, we do see a bit of a, a heavier tone in, in the whiskey. Mm -hmm. But it's a light, mm, it's a nice one. It doesn't have that heavy tones, so I would I would definitely classify it as a one of these light whiskies that just have a bit of a spiciness to counter all the the sweetness and so fruitiness. There in the smell, in the nose, it's lighter in the aftertaste. It's lighter, mm -hmm. but immediately in the taste, just after swallowing the whiskey, then the oak. The limousin oak is, is quite intense. Mm -hmm. Then, now it vanishes already, and it's long, sweet, slightly uh, Christmas cake uh, aftertaste in it. Mm -hmm. I do yeah. like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only thing, only critique for me is <laughs> why, <laughs> omit, why you dropped, uh, <laughs> dropped the age. I mean, I don't think uh, they, they dropped their standard uh, process of having everything matured for 10 years. Maybe they just didn't want to finish it longer uh, for two years in, in these special casks. Yeah, but, but then they'd have to write 11 year old or something like that. Yeah, or they do not have enough casks. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe that, but um, yeah. So yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> I think it's a good whiskey. You can still enjoy it, but there might also be some 12 years around from the old bottlings. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.